to declare a labor holiday to say no to show the power. They have a name for this system, but they forgot one letter. They forgot one letter in the name capitalism because really the name of this system should be capitalism. And any time you hear Bloomberg or one of these politicians say, oh, capitalism is wonderful, I want you to holler back at him, capitalism. So whenever you hear capitalism, what do you say? Capitalism. That's right. And we're going to overthrow this crap and get a system that's for human needs, not for profit. among veterans now has surpassed the rate of combat deaths. More people are dying from suicide as a result of the global war on terror than they are from combat deaths. And this government says, we don't have money to help you deal with the problems that we help you uh, build up within yourself. All this money has to go to Wall Street. Uh, if I keep talking about this, I'm gonna actually start breaking down. So thank you very much. Thank you for being out. This is a solution. This is the compassion that we need to see. And this is the only hope that America has. Um, thank you for standing with us. Thank you for being out here. You know that uh, I think it's the uh, U.S. Corps of Engineers issued a report that it's going to take 1.6 trillion dollars to bring the infrastructure in the United States up to code, up to where we don't have to worry that we might have a dam burst or a levee burst and see thousands of people drown. Think about the people who survived Katrina and the ones who didn't. Think of the people in Ohio right now and in Houston, Texas and Galveston who don't have electricity yet after Hurricane Ike. Where the hell is the money going? We work hard. They take the money out of our pay and taxes and we never see it. Where is it going? Well, a lot, a lot has been going to wars. Wars. I can remember, I'm 72. I remember so many wars, so many veterans coming back with every possible wound imaginable, and all the people like uncles of mine who never did come back. I, I remember the Vietnam War. We were the first group that went out there and demonstrated against the war in 1962. That was us. We did that. And then there was this fiction, oh, and the people of the United States wanted this war. The people of the United States didn't know anything about it. It was just pushed on them. And who was it that decided to have two wars against Iraq? And invade little Grenada? And had carry out countless invasions all over. Who was it who decided to put billions of dollars into backing up horrible military dictatorships in Central America that run the lives of millions of peasants and working people. And who makes these decisions? We're being told right now that there's no alternative. And we're being told it by both parties, the Democrats and the Republicans. They're saying, well, there's really no alternative. You see, this system is in such a crisis, you just have to agree to put all this money into the Wall Street banks. I've been a socialist for my entire adult life. I know there's an alternative. We don't have to live with capitalism forever. It's not an eternal system at all. Humanity will make a great leap forward. People are trying to do it all over the world. This is what democracy looks like.